Hi guys, and welcome to Amelia Tutorials. So you heard about Amelia plugin, you know what it is. You know it helps you manage your uh, appointments, events, your whole schedule. But how does it work? How do you start and how do you make your appointments and have your first bookings through Amelia? That's exactly what we are going to show you in this video. How you start from scratch with Amelia. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. So when you purchase the plugin, you will be directed to our store where you will log in and there you will be able to download the licenses that you've purchased. Now, in this case, we will simply download one of the licenses, which is in this case, developer lifetime. So once we download this uh, uh, installation file, you go to the plugin section and click on add new. In here, you simply upload the plugin, choose the file you just downloaded and install it. So now once we've installed the plugin, we can activate it and that's it. You got Amelia on your website. So once you activate the plugin, the first thing you need to do is create an employee because you cannot create any services without creating any employees. If you previously had a light installation of Amelia, you would need to go to settings and under activation, just make sure that this is disabled. So you don't want to delete any content you've created with the light version. And of course, from the store, you can always check the purchase code, which I will not reveal right now. But once you open the purchase code, you paste it here and activate the license. So um, this is not required for using Amelia. It's required for auto updates and receiving uh, dedicated support. So once Amelia is installed, the first thing, as mentioned before, is to create an employee. So here you create an employee. We will call him John Doe, add an email at test.test. You would use your own email in this case. That is the email of the employee and click on save. When you have the first employee set, you will notice that the working hours are the default working hours from the general settings of Amelia in here. So these are global working hours, which are configured by default from nine to five. And if you want to change these hours, change it before you add the employees or else the modified hours will not apply to the employees. This is because every employee can have different working hours. Once you have the employee created, you configured his working hours. It's time to create a new category, which we will call yoga, for example, and we will add a new service. Once we add the service, we can say Kundalini Yoga, which is in the yoga section and its duration is one hour. You'll notice these time slot steps are currently set to 30 minutes. You can reduce them to five minutes, one minute, extend them to one hour, two hours in again, general settings of Amelia. So in here you can figure the default time slot step. And let's just say that the, we will use the service duration for booking a time slot on the front end. So we've created the, the service, we've added the duration. Now we need to assign the previously created employee. If you want, you can configure the price here. Let's say this will cost $20. Uh, you can add some images for the service. You can add extras, for example, extra 30 minutes, set the duration to be 30 minutes, set the price to be not 20, but 10 and the quantity three. So we would be able to extend this appointment for an hour and a half. So we save the extra and we save the service. And um, can I just ask, is there any way to uh, uh, allocate some time before or after the service to have a gap or of a pause course. or a break in our time? Yes, you can add a buffer time before the service or buffer time after the service, for example, if you want to prepare for the next appointment, you can add a buffer time of 30 minutes in this mm -hmm. case. Uh, of course, these are also linked to the default time slot steps. So if, if you want the buffer time to be 10 minutes, you just need to reduce this to either 5, 10 or 1 minute. So the time mm -hmm. slot step needs to be dividable by one of these entries here. 
we can set the buffer time to be 30 minutes after the appointment and just save. Okay, we need to assign the employee and that's it. Okay, so on the front end, what you need to do is, for example, we've got this Elementor page. We can edit this page with Elementor and just type in AM and you will see all Amelia's uh, booking forms. So we will use the new booking form with no predefined parameters. I mean, you can enable the parameters, but since we have only one category, only one service and only one employee, there's no need to do that. So basically we click on update and now we can see this page on the front end. So it loads straight away to extras because we only have one employee. Mm -hmm. So you can add an extra or not. You can just continue, choose the date, choose the time, continue. And this is of course, uh, because I'm logged in. So if I was to visit this page from an incognito window, or as your customers would visit the page, this all would be blank. So it would look like this. Basically, the customer needs to say, what's my first name? What's my last name? And what's my email? And that's it, we complete the booking. This is the payment section, which shows uh, available coupons to add if you've created coupons in the finance section, or if this is it, since we only have the on-site payment enabled, when we click on continue, the appointment will be created and you as a customer will be able to add this appointment to your Google, Outlook, Yahoo, or Apple calendar. And of course, if you have enabled any online payment providers, which you can also do in Amelia, on the last step, you would uh, have the option to, or your customers would have the option to choose uh, how they want to pay, if they want to pay on site or through one of the online payments, such as PayPal or Stripe. And yeah, we have a video more. about Stripe, so you guys can check that out. One thing I wanted to show you again is when we add a new employee, um, <clears throat> let's add John Hancock and set his email address and assign him to one, the one and only service. Once we do that and once we refresh this page, the extras will not be the first selection anymore, but you will now be able to select the employee. Um, of and course, if you have multiple services, the services um, drop down would appear here. If you had more locations, the locations drop down would appear here. So similar to what you see in the customized section when you access it from the back end. So basically, this is how it would look like if you had multiple services, multiple employees and multiple locations. Yeah. And here you have also on the customized page, you have the option to modify your booking form, uh, make it uh, look so it matches your site, your whole brand, reorder the steps, whatever you need or feel like is important for your business, you can do it on the customized page. And I'd it. say this would cover the first uh, quick start tutorial, but uh, we will come back with more. Yeah, and for appointments, there are many more videos and many more options that you can configure. You can put your uh, services in a package, enable SMS or email notifications if you want them to be sent out to your employees or customers whenever a booking is made. But this is a basic uh, rundown of how Amelia works, how you can start accepting your first bookings and creating your first appointments and soon we will also do a video on how you can do this with events and what is the basic rundown of events in Amelia and that will be it for this video. Yeah, make sure to check out all the other videos about appointments, notifications, employees and other stuff and as mentioned before we'll come back with another quick start guide video soon. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.